This is a CBS 4 News update. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Hollywood police are looking to find three women who investigators believe may have information about the murder of a man early Thursday morning. Hollywood police released surveillance video that showed the victim interacting with the women just prior to being fatally shot. Police say they have no motive for suspects in the case. Investigators say the murder occurred at an apartment complex on Plunkett Street near Pembroke Road and State Road 7. The uncle of the victim identified him as Dino Julian. Two people are dead after a fatal crash in Sunrise. The crash happened at around 9 last night at Knob Hill Road and Sunset Strip. Police say the crash involved three cars. Two people died. Officers say a third person was involved but did not need medical attention. Police have not identified anyone involved. No word on what caused the crash. A 19-year-old Sunrise man is facing charges in a cruel crime. He is accused of killing a disabled dog that captured the hearts of animal activists throughout South Florida. 19-year-old Jephthah Jean Francois went before a judge Thursday. He faces 15 charges of grand theft auto and animal cruelty. Francois is accused of stealing a car with Zora in the back seat and later ditching it at an apartment complex with the windows up. The dog was left inside and likely died of a heat stroke. She could have barked, she could have squealed, somebody could have heard her, but not the way he left her, not that way. And he had every opportunity. That's my Zora, that's my child. If you lose a child, you understand. Francois is being held without bond. A highly a man facing charges this morning for allegedly having an illegal gas tank in his pickup truck. 35 year old Angel Besaras appeared before a judge yesterday. Police say the toolbox in the bed of his truck was converted into a fuel tank to illegally transport and dispense fuel. Florida Highway Patrol says it's a major safety concern since these vehicles, in effect, are traveling gas stations. If involved in an accident, they could cause a catastrophe. Now, CBS4 weather. Finally Friday and our weather pattern is transitioning from stormy to showery today and drier for the weekend. By the way, it becomes breezy also today. Winds will top around 20 miles per hour, especially along the coast. Now that we're behind that front, which was weak, but enough to bring down the humidity for the weekend and high pressure builds in during the weekend. And so that's also going to provide for a very nice uh, setup and lots of sunshine Saturday and Sunday. Let's take a closer look at the atmospheric moisture. So this morning, Friday morning, there's that weak front. If you can see it there to the south of that, there's moisture to the north of that drier air. So that's coming along our way. We can still have a few showers because of the stronger northeast wind picks up a little bit of moisture from the Atlantic waters. However, by tomorrow, uh, that drier air will be enhanced across our area and even the Atlantic. So definitely, I think it's going to stay mainly dry for Saturday. Now Sunday, I want to point this out because this is for the Keys. The Keys could actually get the return of showers as early as Sunday afternoon because that moisture starts to creep back northward. But the rest of South Florida should also remain dry. And then by Monday, we're back into an east wind, which could typically bring back that those sea breeze sh uh, showers. Meanwhile, for Friday afternoon, highs 87 degrees. We're going to feel less humid. And finally, we say goodbye to thunder. Storms. Now, for beachgoers, the weather may be nicer, but those rip currents are not nice at all. Right now, rip current risk is at a moderate level. Up in Palm Beach County and north of that, they're at a high level. So that could change for us too, where they could become even stronger through the weekend. And for boaters, so far, no advisories. Just exercise with caution today. Seas two to four feet, the bays at a moderate chop, and the winds uh, topping 15 knots, gusting up to 20 out there. Tonight's low 76 degrees a nice breeze straight showers overnight an early shower tomorrow but if you wake up late on the weekend you'll probably miss those showers so pleasant sunshine a few high clouds mixing in winds up to 15 miles per hour for our Sunday with a high or Saturday excuse me with a high of 86 Sunday we have the full hunter's moon I mentioned this because this could bring back some coastal flooding uh, due to higher than normal high tide so watch out for that especially for the keys Temperatures rebound, hitting back to those 90s by midweek. Jennifer, thanks. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com. And tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.